hi everyone you are welcome to my youtube channel for today we'll be discussing the different analysis method there are in protar structure there are about four analysis methods so we'll be looking at them one after the other in case you wish to contact me personally you can contact me with this phone number showing on the screen i will as well drop it at the end of the video so you can contact me on different social media with my handles and also don't forget to like and then subscribe to this um, youtube channel because that really matters to me thank you so now let's go into this properly so this is the um plan of the building it is um a four story building you can see we have the story zero which is the foundation this is story one which is the first floor story two second story three third and then story four fourth so let's look at the um 3d okay so this is the 3d drawing so this is how it looks like if you look at this axis you can see the axis line the axis line is an indicator of the story you are presently you know if you look at this this is story one look at the black line i am in story one so when you look at it in 3d that story you have that is where the axis line will be but that is not the um the issue for today so let's look at the analysis you can see the 3d i have modeled is the load and then the slab everything is present now so let's do the analysis so you can come to the analysis tab you know presently i'm in the analysis tab this is the analysis tab so you can see we have the building analysis that is one we have the fe floor analysis that is another one and there is fe route foundation analysis that is three so let's come to building analysis click on building analysis um for building analysis building analysis the first thing you can do is the pre-analysis the first thing you do is pre-analysis you have to load your combination because before you can do any analysis you have to you know put some loading combinations the uls the sls or you know i mean the service load the ultimate load all kind of load you want you can just you know you can put them here so when you are done with that another thing you have to do is come to model option then under the rigid zone you have to keep everything to be you know keep it in none none for um static analysis when i say static analysis i mean the building analysis so you come to the analysis tab then you click on building analysis you can see analysis type static analysis static analysis so it means that when you are doing the building analysis what you are doing is actually the static analysis you understand so click on building analysis when i click on it you can see it brings um about three um checkbox you if you want to design you click on this to design the column you click on this to design the beam you click on this to design the steel but right now i don't want to design i only want to analyze so i don't need to check any of these boxes if you are using um Prota structure 2018 you will also see this so you don't need to check them if you only want to do the analysis you understand but if you want to do the design after the analysis it will you understand but right now i only want to do the analysis so click on build the analysis okay so right now it is analyzing it okay so we are done with this you can see here the bd analysis is not checked right now when it is done it will check it so you can see now you can see that's checked it you can see the mark sign telling you that okay the bd analysis has been done completely so now the analysis is ready you understand but you've not done the design definitely but you can see the bd analysis has been marked so you've analyzed so that is the number one uh, method so another one is the fe flow analysis so let's do the fe flow analysis you can see that's telling you that okay you've done one analysis before so let me just click yes okay but you know you can only do one you don't need to do um two analysis all right so but one thing you have to keep in mind is if you want to do the fe flow analysis instead of you know in your rigid zone um under the building analysis um model i'm um, sorry model option so in your rigid zone you reduce by 25 percent you understand you reduce by 25 percent if you want to do the fe analysis so come to fe flow analysis all right okay so this is what i usually do the stiffness factor for the beam i use 1.0 you know for the slab i will reduce by 50 percent which is 0 0.5 the column i will leave it as 1.0 the wall i will leave it as 1.0 yours will also be in 1.0 but you can you know just change it to 0 0.5 so under the finite element flow analysis there are two analyses under it one is the fe floor chase down analysis you can see all story this will do the analysis of all the stories 
then we have another one floor mesh and analysis this one will only be doing it story by story by story by story whereas the fe floor chase down we do everything so we have basically two analysis method under the finite element flow analysis so let's look at the two but you can see that even you can see that the fe floor chase down and also the floor mesh analysis they are under what finite element flow analysis so it means you can only do one of the two you can't say you want to do for this and also do for this definitely so let's see the fe floor um, chase down but before you do the fe floor chase down you have to change this thing you can see a first floor you have to change this to the last floor if i put it in the last floor look at this you can see that the axis has run up you understand if i put it in the last floor it means that it will analyze the last floor the second to the last floor the third to the last floor and then the the first floor what i'm saying is you know if i put it at the last floor which is the roof level after analyzing the roof level it will jump to the third floor it will jump to the second floor it will jump to the first floor so it will analyze all of them like that but if you put it in the third floor it will only analyze the third floor and all the floors below it you understand so you have to put it in the last floor so that you can analyze the last floor and all the floors below it you understand so you now come to fe floor chase down make sure you check all of this all of this will be checked normally then check all of this as i said your slab factor always put it in the 0 0.5 so put it in the 0 0.5 all this one you can put it in the 1.0 so you click on ok you can pause to check just click on continue you don't need that click on yes all right stand. so it will start analyzing so you can just check here you can see it is preparing the finite element model processing slab so right now it is still in story 4 you can see story 4 you can also check the axis here you can see the axis is still in story floor as uh, story 4 so when it is done analyzing the story 4 it will jump to story 3 jump to story 2 jump to story 1 but it will never analyze story 0 you know story 0 is um foundation so there's a special way of analyzing the story 0 for story zero, you'll be using the FE route foundation analysis. So when you look at this, you see that this has changed. You can see now story three. Also, you can see the axis has come down. So the grid line will keep coming down when it is done analyzing each floor. So when it is done, um, this cross you are seeing here, you know, this cross simply means there's no analysis result now. So when it is done, you see it will mark it here. It will just mark it. Okay, it's in story two now. Okay, so it's now on story one. You see the axis will also come down now. Okay, the axis has come down. So you can see it's now on story one. So after this story, that will be all. Okay, now so it's done with the analysis. So it will bring the um you can see process completed. It will bring the deflection at each story. So for story flow, you can see the maximum positive moment is 4.38 and then mm. So that's all. So you click on OK. So you can see that the analysis has checked that is it has been completed so now you have done the finite element analysis you can see we are the finite flow analysis so you have done the finite flow analysis using what the chase down analysis method so you can as well use the floor mesh analysis so let's see how we can do this but for the fe floor mesh analysis here you cannot do all the story at the time just like we did for the chase down you have to keep doing it one by one so you can come to let's say you want to do for story four you click on story four you see the axis will come here the grid line i mean then you now click on this this is telling that okay you have one one already exists so do you want to replace it yes yes because we've done one analysis so if you want to replace the analysis with this then you can do that so let's click on yes here the first thing you do is generate model click on generate model okay so when it's done you just hit the close it will close it and then to transfer the model just allow it to do its work it will do it on its own okay so it's calculating the member result now okay so that is done so what you can do you can just check your analysis post-processing this is not essential but you know it is just your post processing it has analyzed it you just want to check the after analysis you know we want to check the result of the analysis so that is what we are doing here in analysis post processing okay so the normal thing you can do you can use um you know you can pick a particular contour 
so that I can see the contour. You know, the contour is like um is a legend. You know, this is the legend of the contour to just tell you, you know, using the color, the color will be the one to give you a particular average magnitude of what is happening. So the first thing you know, you have several load cases, you can pick a particular load case. You know, you have the this is the um dead load plus live load factor. You can see this is the service load. 1.0 g plus 1.0 you know this is 1.4 plus 1.6 qk so you can click this load you can click this load okay so this is the load factor you are using now because you have several load cases so you can pick these load cases so if you want to see your bending you can click the bending if you want to see the design moments you can click this so you can see now if you look very closely you will see some values this is like 5.7 kilo newton or something you can see this 5.7 5.7 but you can always use the results you know you can always use the color to judge hmm? you can always use because you can see um let me use this um this one so if you want to check your design moment your required steel area all of this you know you have several things to check and if you want to consider other load cases too you have different load combination just click on the load combination and check your results so that is what the um that has to do so you are done with the analysis too so now click on this to transfer the model i think that was fast but you just click on okay that's all so now it will be transferring the slab strip and everything so it simply means when you want to do this you just have to draw your strip first your fe strip on the in the next video will be i'll be showing you different kind of strips you have in um in proto structure so that is the um, third method of um, analysis. You know, we've done the building analysis, then we've done the floor analysis. Under the floor, I told you there are two, which is the chase down and then um, and then the floor mesh analysis. So that is three already. So the third, um, the fourth one is the FE raft foundation analysis. This one is basically for the foundation. So when you want to do this, make sure you are on story zero. So come to story zero okay so you can see i'm on story zero so then you click on the fe route foundation so fe route foundation it is the same way we did um we did for the rest too so you can see i have it checked already because that's because i've done the analysis before so but you can also rerun it you know you can also rerun it you can see this is the soil subgrid coefficient that has to do with um the soil um property so you will have done that um, just click on the rat foundation you can you see it's telling me that i've done it before so just click on yes but it's still the same process as the floor but the raft you know the fe raft is just for the raft foundation why the fe floor is for the other floors all right so you generate models as usual click on generate model and then after that i think i can just close it for now because it's still the same um the same process so after generating the model you close then you you do everything so let me press escape so that is all the four method we have in proto structure so that is basically how you you analyze in proto structure you can use the bd analysis which is the static and um, static method you can use the fe floor um chase down you can use the fe floor mesh analysis and you can also use the fe route foundation analysis all right so thank you for watching up to the end and then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel thank you